YouTube. What up, Blockchain Nation? Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, if you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button below. And uh, thanks for watching. All right, so today we are going to review how to become a certified blockchain developer. I have a couple of videos that I've done on certifications in the past. Uh, this one, we're just gonna go deeper into a particular certification. I always like to emphasize that I do not um, get any money or anything from endorsing or refuting any certification. I just like to share what has worked for me and hopefully if it works for you as well, that would be great. Otherwise, you can let us know other tools that are out there that people can use to learn more about this blockchain. So, if you're ready, say I'm ready. <laughs> but before we start, we must have some. Awesome. So, this is the uh, Blockchain Council's major uh, main page. As you can see, they have a couple of certifications, certified blockchain experts and the likes. You can view more certifications on this page. Also, these seem to be the members, key members of this. Now my PC is in it. There we go. Certified Hyperledger expert, certified cryptocurrency trader, and it goes on and on and on and on. Anyways, if you decide to take this, the course that I did is the certified blockchain developer, which will be somewhere in this page. So. Once you decide to, you, first of all, you become a member, you register, then you purchase the course you want, and then they give you a nice console to log in. And then once you do, take it some time. <laughs> you don't see what they do when that happens. All right, so this is my, this is my login dash dashboard. As you can see, I've completed the certified blockchain developer exam. Let's just take a look at this course and see what it offers. So certified blockchain developer, let's look at what the course has in store. So it, it teaches you the basics about blockchain, why blockchain is better than traditional technologies, goes over Ethereum, whole lot loads of videos here, talks about an ICO, what an ICO is, and I mean it's a, it's, it's a huge resource, cryptocurrency adding, transfer event for logging, this is actually some smart contract specific stuff, yeah how do smart contracts work. Then it teaches you about multi-chain and teaches you about hyperledger. So I personally don't like using one single resource. So my opinion will be, or my suggestion will be to go over this entire course. And here, you also get to write the exam right here. So after going over it a few times, I always like looking at other materials. So there are some major things that you learn in this course. You learn about blockchain, about Ethereum, about multi-chain, and about hyperledger fabric. So as a resource, you can also go to the multi-chain website. So multi-chain is a concept that, well, it hasn't really picked up so much. Most of the jobs that you see out there or the tools that people use are not necessarily on this multi-chain platform, but you can take your time to read through uh, the uh, their main website. So you can learn more about what they're all about. But this course goes over uh, multi-chain. The next thing that it goes over is also Ethereum and specifically smart contracts. How do you build, use a programming language called Solidity to build smart contracts. So now if you go to the Ethereum major main page, here we are, ethereum.org. It uh, talks about, you can actually go to the Solidity documentation. Now, if I can find that, it's right here, learn Solidity. So if you go over to Solidity documentation, the docs, you can actually read through this yourself just to get a grasp of what the language is like. So it was influenced, as you can see, by C++, Python, and JavaScript. So if you have a JavaScript background, it will be easier for you to learn Solidity. And uh, now we don't need you right now. Yeah, so you can read through the documentation how to install Solidity on your computer. You can either use this IDE or you can install Solidity on your computer. So if you decide to use this IDE, it's a really cool IDE. It's online. It's a developer environment. As you can see, where you can actually write and test your smart contracts using this cool IDE. I'll provide a link below. Or if you want to, you can actually install the compiler on your local machine 
do that you'll have to install npm node.js this is the node.js website so you have to download the latest version of node.js and as you can see let me just check what version do i have just to check my npm version and um my laptop needs work there you go so that's the version 6 and i can also see also see i also have version 10 node.js it's 10.15 oh so that means the newer version out there what is this recommended for most users so that's not, that's not, so i guess i have to update but even all the versions work so you can install node.js and then you can have the uh environment when you run this npm store and have the um, environment in your local machine or you can just go the easier route and just use the id so back to the course talks about ethereum and smart contracts like i said you should please go over to the ethereum um, major page and go through the solidity documentation it's, uh Play around with the ID so you can have a better understanding of all that this course teaches. Awesome. All right. Next is it also talks about Hyperledger Fabric. So Hyperledger he, right here. This is the homepage. Hyperledger is a cool project. Uh, but the Linux Foundation is open source and a host of other people, and it came up with this very nice greenhouse, which is basically uh, frameworks for you building blockchain applications. So one of the most well, the most popular Hyperledger framework is Hyperledger Fabric. Um, Sawtooth is also a popular one, but most um, projects that I see or that, as of this recording are built around Hyperledger Fabric. And also Hyperledger Composer, where you are, where are you? Right here, is one of the more, uh, more popular tools for building blockchains, blockchain applications. So the course goes over Ethereum and Hyperledger. I've noticed that for most jobs or most job openings will require experience in one or both of these areas. Ethereum is basically for building blockchain applications that are more public while and permissionless, while Hyperledger is used for blockchain frameworks that are or blockchain applications that are more uh, privatized and are more than that require some kind of permission for you to access. So if we go to Hyperledger Fabric, um, website we can look at the actual documentation we can just say build your first network and then it will take us to a page that shows us more have the has the documentation on hyperledger which is so cool so that's where we are hyperledger fabric once again you can read through the documentation and then some of this to a lot of us who look like japanese or french or if you are french or japanese it will look confusing but um yeah so you can just go over this documentation so the actual course itself talks about hyperledger fabric the components of hyperledger fabric and the likes so you can take that check, check that out for yourself just really quickly let's see if we look for blockchain jobs just to show you excuse me let's look at this blockchain engineer you would see what it requires. Let's read more. You can see two years of hands-on proof of concept experience using Azure. But here we are, Hyperledger Sawtooth. Okay, that's new. Most of the time is usually Hyperledger. Uh, but this is one that's asking for experience with Hyperledger Sawtooth, which doesn't happen all the time, but it happens sometimes. So blockchain engineer, let's look at this one. Linux Foundation, Hyperledger, Sawtooth, Workbench. Oh, that's interesting. This is the one. Yeah, look at this one. This one asks for experience with Solidity and Ethereum. And let's look at this one. Last one we'll look at. This one asks for, what does it ask for? Qualifications. One year of experience with Hyperledger Fabric and Hyperledger Compose. So basically, for jobs in the blockchain space, they usually ask for experience in with, um, Ethereum and Solidity or with Hyperledger tools like Fabric, uh, Composer and uh, Sawtooth. So just to one recap again. So this is Certified Blockchain Developer Exam by the Blockchain Council. It goes over Ethereum, Multi-Chain, Hyperledger Fabric and the basics of blockchain. So 
Uh, you can go over this if you want to take this course. It's something you actually learn, learn a little bit or some stuff by taking this course. Because I, I always look at the downside. What's the downside of being on these certifications? To me, there's no downside. Worst case, you learn something. Uh, best case, you learn something. So, um, after going through the entire course, you can now you get to take the exam. And then as a reference, you should take your time to look through the documentation on multi-chain. Also, on the Ethereum major website, you can check out um, Solidity documentation, install Node.js if you need to, Hyperledger Fabrics documentation, and this is the IDE for building writing smart contracts. And then, yeah, that's about it. Anyways, I hope this helps. So this is probably going to be the last video I do on certifications. I think we've done this, uh, done a few videos. So check out my playlist on certifications and training. If you want to learn more about this space, well, that's all I have for you today. My wish for you is that you learn how to build applications and learn how to code because coding is changing, will change the world, especially this blockchain distributed ledger technology space. And in my personal opinion, those who get involved early will greatly impact the future. And if that's you, then um, let's go change the world.